hey, we're over here. What's up? So I'm going to show you how to use Sketch. It is a screenshot app. It's part of the Evernote family of apps. And I use Sketch all the time, daily, on a daily basis. I have it on my iPad. I have it on my uh, laptop as well. I use it all the time to basically go and do uh, screenshots and call out sections for websites. So anything you're using on your machine, you want to take a picture of a certain area and then uh, write commentary on it. That's what I use Sketch for. You can, you know, for me as a internet marketer and a blogger, I use it all the time to basically show people commentary on sites. However, I also use it a lot just through email correspondence. Like uh, if I'm trying to show my uh, parents, for example, they're having a little trouble uh, you know, figuring out how to do X, Y, or Z on a website, I could take a screenshot and then highlight the area that I'm talking about and tell them, hey, you need to push this button or whatever. So I'm just gonna show you a really quick demo on how to use Sketch and uh, it's, it's free to install free to use they do limit like the number of uh i guess the amount of data in which you can upload into the uh the cloud <laughs> as they call it um but i use it all the time i rarely hit the limit i think i only hit the limit one time when i was doing a huge uh, blog post with tons of images in it so i'll just show you really quick some of the stuff you could do so first off i, I have sketch running here so i'm just gonna click on that there's a couple different kinds of screenshots you could do. So we'll do, um, the most common for me is a screen snap. So I'll just do a screen snap and let's say I want to point something out here on the wire cutter. So we'll just uh, take a segment like this, for example. And this would be like a common thing that I would do, right? So I could say um, right here, actually I pointed this out on, another blog post uh, over on Empire Flippers, but I may say, you know, highlight this. And what, what this is specifically is a call to action um, sort of above the folder, at least in the first paragraph. So I could say, check out the call to action uh, in, in, First sentence, that's great copywriting. So, you know, whatever you're gonna write, <laughs> right there. Um, and that's pretty much it. And you, you can like change the color, you know, let's say bright green isn't for you or it doesn't show up well on the page. You could change all this to say red or whatever, whatever you want to change it to. You could change the, how big the, uh, the box is. You could make it super skinny like this, which maybe is a little bit small, but you can still see it. You know, maybe you're not as, uh, you know, you don't need the fat, the fat uh, box around there. You could also highlight, right? So you could highlight this stuff like that. It's a little thin. So we'll, let's, let's beef it up a little bit and say, okay, we're gonna highlight this part call it out so you can see it. Okay, that's actually more like a marker. So that darkens a little bit. Not really what we're looking for. So you can't undo it. So all you have to do is, uh, I think there's an undo button or, you know, it's control Z. So we can just to get rid of that. Um, what's, what's some other stuff you could do? So if you don't like uh, the arrow, there are some different some different things you can do here. So you can uh, put an arrow and stuff like we, we showed you. Uh, you can write the text like that. You can put boxes or lines or circles if that's more your thing. Uh, you could do the highlighting. This is the highlight. There we go. There's the highlighting. So you can do highlighting or marker. So you can mark stuff up. Um, and this is the, the markup. Okay, so highlighting here, markup there. You could put little buttons on it, like here's the information or whatever. Uh, check mark. So we're getting, it's getting a little messy here, but just, <laughs> you get the idea. Now one of the big things, right? There's a lot of critical information. Like when I show 
a screenshot or I share uh, earnings for one of my sites, one of my Amazon affiliate sites, there's information in there that I don't want to share. So this guy, this little thing here is pixelating the image. So what you can do is basically hide the text. So it blurs it out and people can't see what it is. Awesome. So I use this all the time. So if I was actually, you know, showing, uh, you know, information about my website or revealing information that I didn't want to share, you can like blur stuff all over the place, right? It's awesome. Uh, next, you could, of course, you know, like a, a, a regular image uh, software, you could crop it. So pretty simple and straightforward. So you can crop an image um, if you want to. So this is how I marked up this uh, particular thing in a very messy way. So the other thing you can do, just a quick note, you can do like a time screen snap. So if a lot of times I have to do this for like a menu. So if you're creating a screenshot and it's one of those deals where it's a hover, uh, hovering your mouse cursor over the uh, menu for the drop down to show up, then you, you're not able to do the screen snap. So what you have to do is a time screen snap. And I'll show you how it works real quick. So time screen snap. So you, you do the section that you want to cover, which is here. I'll show you this. And then five, four, three, two, and then I'll click this down and then boom. I got this screenshot here. And we can then mark it up just like before and say, you know, here, here's a great uh, section, a good category. Boom. So that's all you have to do. We can change it up like that. So that's that's how you use Skitch. Um, you know, even if you're not a blogger, internet marketer, you'll probably find it super useful. And if you're looking to get into that kind of stuff, then you'll also, I mean, if you're not using this, this is a great way to up your game. I mean, screenshots and teardowns like this are hugely valuable. So really encourage you to check out Skitch. If you found this useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, I write about and talk about internet marketing, Amazon affiliate sites. In fact, if there's a playlist with like over 12 videos where I tear down and analyze Amazon affiliate sites, some of which are making you know over a million dollars a year, uh, like profit, like they're making a lot of money. And I also review a lot smaller ones, you know, sites a little more similar to what I'm working on and tell you the best practices, things I like, things that I don't like. But I'll leave it at that. So check out Skitch and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.